Hello and welcome to Movie Magic Budgeting 7 Tips and Tricks. I'm your host Stephen Kinchella, and in this video what we're going to be talking about is the new Applied Credits feature. This feature is huge and we really think it's going to help those budgeters who are going to be shooting in areas where they can benefit from tax credits. Let me show you how it works. So here I am on the top sheet. I'm going to scroll down and towards the end I'm going to right click or control click on a line to get the contextual menu and I'm going to select insert applied credit and it brings up the applied credit window and the first thing that's here is naming the applied credit I'm going to call this New Mexico credit and you're allowed to select either percentage or a flat credit with the percentage obviously the percentage field is open and with the flat credit the flat credit field becomes active and with the flat credit you can just put in a, a flat number that you're going to be discounted but but we're going to leave it with percentage because that seems to be the most common and I'm going to put in percentage here of 20 percent so that's how much we're going to get discounted based on what we're going to include now that's where this becomes really powerful is you can either choose to exclude from the budget total so I'm taking 20 percent off the total of the budget but what you're able to do here is just use include so I can select a bunch of stuff to include down at the bottom and we'll get to that in just a second so we can select what will get credited now the discount field is something that if let's say you're working with a broker and that broker is going to get a fee based on all these credits that you're getting you can add an additional percentage for the broker so once the 20 percent is taken I can take 10 percent off of that total which is what the broker would get so then you can assign this to an account number so if you want this credit to have its own account number you can put that in here and then we can select if we want this displayed on the top sheet and also if we want the included amount on the top sheet displayed I'm gonna leave the first one checked and leave the second one unchecked but that's up to your preference and now down here we can select what we want to include we can either just put uh, a user entry we can enter a description in a, in a flat amount of what we want to include and we can add as many lines as we want by cl clicking the include amount button but what becomes really powerful is the include group so if you have groups set up that you want to include in here and right now I'm going to select New Mexico labor and I have a bunch of stuff tagged in that group I can click OK and it's going to sum up all the items tagged with New Mexico labor and give me a total so it's going to give me a total credit which is 20 percent of the included amount and then 10 percent off of that amount which gives me the total credit of this amount now let's say we want to exclude certain fringes certain fringes might not be able to be included in uh, what you're going to be credited back so if I click the exclude fringe button I'm able to select what fringes I want to exclude from this credit. So let's say it's not going to be able to include the fooey and the suey. I can check that and others as well and click OK. And notice now it's excluded that from the total credit. So once I'm done selecting all the stuff that I want to include and exclude, I just click OK. And a line has been added to my top sheet saying what the credit is and displaying the credit total. That's fantastic, am I right? Well, if I'm right or wrong, we'd love to hear what you think. You can send your feedback to budgetingbeta at entertainmentpartners.com and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can get updates on when we add new videos and tips and tricks. And also be sure to check www.entertainmentpartners.com for all our new products and services. Thanks for watching.